Hi, I'm Extra Life. I'm back. I need a haircut, and I just got some stuff in the mail, some copper tape. So we're going to be shielding this Fender Stratocaster from EMI, or electromagnetic interference. I don't know if you can hear this. This is what the guitar sounds like with the volume all the way down. It's pretty quiet. And then when we turn up the volume, ooh, it gets loud. Now, the Stratocaster has a couple tricks up its sleeve. It's got three pickup positions and then two in between. And the two in between are out of phase, so if you use those, you get a lot less noise. But you can hear on the single coils, because they're basically acting like AM antennas, they're picking up all the noise from, you know, power supplies, lights, power lines, or, or transformers near your house. But what we're going to do is use this copper tape to create a Faraday cage right around the pickup cavity and the control cavity. So the first thing we got to do is take off these strings. Now that we've got the strings off, we can take the pick guard assembly itself off. This is just spinning in place, so I think we might try and just pull it up. See if it comes out with us. Hmm. And it's wired in place. You can see right here, there's this hardwired connection. This is a big old blob of solder here, and it is on a big old piece of metal. That means it has a lot of thermal mass. So I've got my soldering iron turned almost all the way up, and what we want to do is get this part hot in a real hurry and melt the part where it's joined and get out of there without heating up this whole apparatus here. Uh, so I'm able to liquefy just a tiny piece at a time here. My guess is that they did this with a much larger soldering iron. Not the end of the world. I mean, I do have some solid cord wire. We could just cut this and replace it. So let's pull that through and then see if our pick guard comes off now. Oh, there it goes. We do still have our coax wire coming into our jack here. One. And two. So here is the inside of the pick guard. Uh, and as you can see, this is an aftermarket pick guard and it's got uh, aluminum shielding covering the entire surface of both the control cavity and the pickup cavity. I think the original pickguard for this guitar only has the control cavity shielded, so if this were a new guitar that we were shielding or you know, a vintage one that didn't have any shielding on it at all, that would be step one is remove all this stuff and apply uh, either aluminum or copper or tape. But since this is already shielded, we're going to set this aside and focus on the body of the guitar, which has no shielding on it whatsoever. Uh, this is a 1995 Stratocaster. You can see from the 50-year uh, anniversary here sticker. And I believe 1995 was the last year that they built these things with um, unshielded cavities. Anything newer, <clears throat> and particularly on the American series strats, nowadays they use um, shielding paint, which is conductive paint, has some kind of metal dissolved in it. So we're going to take the copper foil and cover the entire inside surface of the uh, pickup and control cavity, and maybe the output jack. I think we actually have a coax cable that's shielded, so we may not need to do that. tape is not going to stick because there's curves, so we're going to make some slits just to kind of chamfer the edge around that curve a little bit. really important that we get the foil uh, to kind of wrap over onto the top of the guitar so that it makes a good electrical connection with the foil on the pick guard.
that's done, I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit and put a couple of drops of solder on the joints between the major pieces so that there's guaranteed connectivity all the way around. Now it's time to take care of the pick guard. Uh, you could also shield the pick guard coils themselves. People will debate about whether or not that changes the tone of the pickups. And since I mostly play clean, I really like to have that high end shine through, so I'm not going to do that. One thing I am going to do though is take this stock wire and replace it with this uh, two core shielded wire. Now, this screw should ground the entire pick guard and the controls to the body cavity, and this coax conductor here, well, the shielding on it, should ground the, uh, the output jack plate once we solder it in place. Okay, so today is tomorrow, we're back, I've put this thing back together, and I actually took the strings off and went back in there and I put in a little uh, grounding stud, which is just a screw through a little piece of brass that I took from a, I guess it's a spade connector. Is it dead quiet? No, not exactly. Most of the noise that's still coming through is what's called 60 cycle hum, and that's coming in through the tops of the pickups, and you can tell because it gets louder when the guitar is facing a certain direction, but it is a little bit quieter. I do have some new strings on it. I like the way it sounds, so let's play some music. <laughs> 